I'm Mr. B, and today we have this older truck here. This is a 1976 Chevrolet K1500 four-wheel drive pickup truck, and it has a small block Chevrolet in it. Now, we did an engine uh, removal and replacement on this about a year ago. It came back to us with a little bit of a rough running issue, and so I thought this was the perfect time to show y'all how to identify a misfire just by using temperature or uh, so either if you have a temperature gun an infrared temperature gun or a thermal imaging camera which is what I'm going to use today I'm going to show you how you can take an exhaust system and look at it through the eyes of temperature and tell which cylinder is misfiring so this is very important on uh, to use on cars that don't have misfire recognition so really a lot of cars before uh, the year 2000 and even some uh, later than that did not have misfire recognition so it may tell you that the car has a misfire a random multiple misfire like a p0 300 but to identify that misfire you had a couple of different ways you could use but none were very uh either efficient or quick okay so yeah we can do the the uh the rpm drop test or the cylinder contribution test we can do those tests but with uh, this method that I use with the uh, thermal camera, I can tell within about 20 seconds uh, which cylinder is misfiring. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today on this old truck. Okay, so here are the two tools that I mostly use for misfire diagnostics. And one is a whole lot cheaper than the other. This is a just a, a, a thermal imager here. You can get these very cheap now. They're, they're laser pointed. And uh, you can use this for your thermal imaging for misfire recognition. Uh, but this is what we're going to use today. This is a Snap-on EETH300 thermal imager. And this is a camera. It's a thermal imaging camera. So we can turn this on here. And as it boots up, it lays a, a visual picture of the temperatures of everything that we pointed at. So like my hand right here. And we've seen this on a lot. I mean, you remember the old movie, The Predator and things like that. This was used. Now, this does have some lag time. Okay. So seeing things in real time, it takes about a half a second for it to report. And of course, it has our scale right here, 72 to 76 degrees. That, of course, is going to change. And our uh, 75 degrees, that's what, what is pointing at. So I can take this. If I pull this trigger that's on the back here, I pull this trigger, I can take a picture and I can save this. It's got a little mini uh, card in it that, that uh, saves these and I can upload these to a computer. I can attach it to a file or whatever. But these are very, very, not only for uh, misfire recognition, these are really good for checking uh, air conditioning issues. If you have a restriction in the system, of course, this is going to show the temperature change before and after that restriction. Uh, if you're you know, if you have a bad wheel bearing, this will show a higher temperature in the wheel hub on one side or the other. It's really good at uh, bad bearings. Oh, geez, brakes dragging, stuff like that. Anything where, where there's a difference between hot and cold is going to get you to your diagnostics. Uh, really good for uh, heated seat diagnostics. So if it's summer outside and you don't feel like sitting in, in both seats to see if they're working, you can fire this up and point these at the seats, turn the, the heated seats on, heated mirrors, heated back glass, the, the grid on the back of the glass. This is really good at uh, giving you a good visual picture of uh, catalytic converters also, you know, diagnosing the in and out temperatures of catalytic converters. Uh, this is just perfect. However, on this model, I think we paid about $1,900 for this model. Uh, you can get some cheaper ones, uh, FLIR or FLIR. They make some cheaper ones. Uh, Flute now makes some cheaper ones. You can get these for around $1,000. You can also get some things that plug onto your cell phone camera and they work pretty well we got this for the program just because it's a little bit uh rough and, and, and tumble and it's durable and of course we have a good warranty on it from snap on so i don't recommend you know if you just are a home technician to go out and buy one of these unless you can get it good cheap used one or uh they start dropping in price a little bit so let's go ahead and get this truck cranked up and then I'll show you how we use this to find out what cylinder is misfiring. Problem. 
Okay, so 30 seconds into cranking this vehicle up, we already found out where the misfire is, where the problem area is. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, you know, pull that plug out and make sure the plug is okay. If the plug's okay, you know, since this is a carbureted car, we don't have to really worry about an injector dying or something like that. So we're gonna go directly into leak testing and compression check on this to make sure that we don't have any problem there. So uh, really quick, really easy way uh, thermal camera on this. If you have an infrared reader, you just want to run your infrared reader down the manifold tubes or the header tubes, uh, like on this car, and the cooler one is going to be the one that's not lighting off. So uh, it's a real big indication on you don't have something right in that cylinder. So, uh, you know, we don't have codes on this car. We don't have check engine light. We don't have anything telling us wrong, but you know, normally the customer will say, hey, my car's not running right. This is what we got going on. And so old school, this is the way uh, we new school check the old school cars. So hope you like this video. If you did, give it a like and give me a subscribe. I'm also trying to kind of branch out a little bit and get into a little bit of automotive technique videos to show you guys how to diagnose any car, not only just Volkswagens and BMWs and things that I've done in the past, but I'm trying to get into, you know, really teaching you guys how these things work and how you can diagnose your own car no matter what it is. So I am on Facebook, I am on VK, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, anywhere anyone can be, I am. Go ahead and look me up there, give me a like or subscribe there and give me a shout. Normally have something interesting going in the comments and uh, could really use uh, your comment on this video or on other brands of social media. So uh, as for that, we're gonna go ahead and sign off today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what's going on with this truck and thank you for tuning in and watching.